Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. We're well, back in the saddle after a week of warm weather in uh, the southern part of the United States, but maybe it's cold this morning here in Chicago. Some of the coldest temps that we've seen, wind chill in maybe 10 years. So um, it will see if that affects the market as far as logistics on the river and um, feed demand for animals and, and also whether it be movement of grain. In general, the calls this morning are a little bit better. Uh, maybe beans two to three, corn one, wheat one to two. Uh, market initially is calling a little bit better because of the cold weather. And also down in South America, parts of southern and maybe eastern Argentina miss some of the rains that they need. Uh, the forecast for the next 10 to 12 days is dry for Argentina and southern Brazil. And um, maps again, as they have been showing, rains in the uh, 12 to 15 day time frame for those areas. So we're trying to balance whether or not the crops are under stress, especially in Argentina and southern Brazil. Central and northern Brazil conditions are fine. So um, the next thing that we have to look at um, is the funds. Their combined uh, short position is, is almost a record for corn, beans, and wheat going into 2018. So we'll see if they want to continue that or if um, the market uh, wants to cover a little bit of those short positions. If I'm an end user and I look where prices are, beans, uh, three month lows, corn and wheat near season lows, I'm not really rushing in to get any ownership at this time. There's no reason to do that. Uh, on the other side of the coin, there's no reason for farmers to sell at these price levels unless they have to. Uh, the logistics, the cold weather, the lack of farmers selling, uh, kind of keeps a floor underneath the cash markets, uh, but really no urgency for anybody to rush in here and get coverage for 2018. On the wheat front, uh, we'll see if there's any winter kill um, or stress on the winter wheat crop across parts of the southern plains and uh, soft wheat areas. It's really hard to determine until weeks down the road uh, when the crops, crops come out of dormancy and see if there's any problems, but it's pretty cold out there with not a lot of snow cover. As far as the next, other than that, January 12th, uh, USDA will be coming out with their final crop numbers uh, from 2017. They'll be adjusting some of their demand numbers, maybe adjusting South American crop uh, numbers, and we'll see at the end of the day um, what all that means. Right now, we're for 17 and 18, USDA is using a bean carry out of 445, and the range of guesses is 485 to 500. They're using a 2437 corn carry. We still have a pretty wide range for corn from 2280 to 2510, depending upon what numbers you want to plug in for not only the crop size, but the demand, especially on the domestic side. Wheat 960, and the range is between 900 and 985. For those who want to take a bold step for 18 and 19, USDA's came out in November with a 376 bean carry out. Range of guesses around 500 to 560. For corn, uh, they said um, 2557. Most of the people are around 2 billion as far as the carryout concern. Again, corn acres could be down, demand could still be up. And the USDA said 838 on the wheat, and the guesses are from 750 to 800, looking for a little bit lower wheat crop numbers. We have our big annual brokerage uh, meeting down in sunny T Clearwater Beach, Florida, starting on uh, January 12th through 14th. So those that are coming down, I hope you uh, get down safely. And uh, we're looking forward to all the speakers giving us some ideas for 2018. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.